Okay, so Chris says, my nine month old became too much to handle on the changing table, so we're trying EC, he doesn't signal. We offered him the toilet at certain times. It was great for a week. He peed and we made the sound. Suddenly he started fussing and screaming when we offered and then peeing the diaper five minutes later. We backed off. Now I'm just observing and making the noise. How and when do I offer him the toilet again? Okay, so for a nine month old, you don't want to make the noise. You want to use words. It's beyond that whole thing. Should I make the noise when I offer toilet or only if he goes in the toilet? How do I know if he's ready for that? Okay, so he's capable of that. Readiness is a thing that the diaper companies want us to believe is necessary to do any kind of toileting our children. It's not all babies are capable, all of them from birth, just saying. So we'll correct that little word because it's really helps you, it helps you correct your mindset. When he goes to the bathroom, when he's okay, when you offer potty to do the sign, because at nine months old, they can usually sign back or start to learn, go potty. And then if you hear, and then stop signing, and then you can make the noise if you want to, or run some water, but sometimes it bothers them at that age to hear that noise. You can turn on the water and busy yourself with something else. If he goes on the toilet and you hear him going, pee pee. Okay, do you see the difference? So go potty, and then you got pee pee. Or he starts pooping, you say, you can grunt with him. This is a this is a joint thing. <clears throat> poo poo. That's the same for poo poo. You grab your thumb and you pull up. Poo poo. So when he's pooping, you just you're pooping. When he's peeing, you're peeing. But don't use the noise kind of annoys some kids. Okay. Fussing and screaming when they offer and peeing a diaper five minutes later. Could you please just take my potty pause course? Even though it's not officially a pause, Chris, I'm going to specifically prescribe it to you because all of the examples that I would give you right now, all of the detailed instruction are in that course, and I've only got 12 minutes left on this call, and I've only answered eight questions. So I'm going to move on, but I want you to do the course because that's going to tell you exactly what to do. So go to godiaperfree.com, click on store, look at the mini courses. This one's called Potty Pause. That's going to help you to get a little bit better at what you're doing there. But I wouldn't give up. And what I want to, you to know, also, if you need to know when to offer, that's the potty time course. When do I offer? When is potty time? If you don't have my book, it also goes clearly through that. So this code will work for the book and the courses and everything. You can use it as many times as you want through midnight tonight. But um, I feel like you're going to need something a little more age appropriate, which is going to be the potty pause course and the potty time course as well. Those two courses in combination with each other, Chris, are going to help you use the code and get those today. Because I feel like everything I would say is in there and it's just too much to explain. When you're just starting off, when do you offer him the toilet? You've got to get really informed and educated yourself before offering again. Because I think it'll enhance your confidence.